Sorry to you, Jingle Bells. Homework smells. He really does smell. Mrs. Brian was writing something on the board, but Gilbert doesn't notice. It was hard to think about schoolwork when it was almost Christmas. Instead, Gilbert thought about what Santa might bring him. He thought about having a whole week from school to play. He didn't want to think about spelling or math or Gilbert. Mrs. Clear bird called. Please pay attention. Gilbert turned and saw that everyone had moved to the story corner. Everyone except Gilbert. He stumbled out of his chair and quickly found a spot between Patty and Frank. He would have to try harder to pay attention. When everyone was settled, Mrs. Brian read a story about a snowman that came to life. Gilbert wished he could make his own snowman, but it hadn't snowed in a long time. He hoped it would snow by Christmas. He had asked Santa to bring him a brand new Red Racer speed sled. His old sled had broke last year when Lewis crashed it into Darwin Hill. When Mrs. Bryant finished the story, she said, The snowman is the main character. For homework, I'd like you all to make a picture of a character from your favorite book. We can talk about the books and the characters on Monday. Lewis groaned about getting homework over the weekend. He didn't like to read. He didn't like to draw, especially on a weekend. Gilbert liked to. He didn't like to read. He didn't like to draw, especially on a weekend. Gilbert liked to read and draw, but and all afternoon he tried to think which book he liked best. Mother was was baking cookies when he got home. Gilbert went to help decorate them. Do you have any homework to do, she asked. I can do it later, Gilbert said. He, and, but later he watched a holiday special on TV. He wasn't worried because he still had the whole weekend to do his homework. On Saturday morning, Gilbert looked through his bookshelf for his favorite character. The, the doorbell rang. Caddy, Patty asked Gilbert, Ask if Gilbert wanted to go ice cream. I didn't do my homework yet, Gilbert said. I'm doing mine tomorrow, Patty told him. Gilbert thought for a second and said, I guess I can do mine tomorrow too. And he went to skate with his friends. Go. On Sunday, Gilbert and his sister went with Father to pick out a Christmas tree. Nora ran from tree to tree saying, This one, no, this one, no, this one, no, this one's back. Finally, they agreed on the perfect tree and tied it up to the top of the car. After dinner, they hung the decora- they hung the decoration and drank hot cocoa. Father read the night before Christmas, and Gilbert couldn't wait until Santa came. He couldn't think about anything except flying down the Darwell Hill with his new red racer speed sled. It was snowing when Gilbert got up on Monday morning. He hopped out, and he hopped up and down with excitement. After after school, he could make a snowman. Of course, he would do his homework first. Homework, Gilbert had, had, had forgotten to do his homework. He hadn't chosen a book or drawn a crap picture. Gilbert had never forgotten to do his homework before. Mrs. Bird had always given him happy space sticker for doing good work. He, had, he wasn't. He wasn't going going to get a happy face sticker today. His stomach began to hurt. I don't feel good, he said to Mother when he went downstairs. I can't go to school today. Mother felt Gilbert's forehead. Hmm, she said. You have to stay in bed then, you, and you won't be able to play in the snow. Gilbert wanted very much to play in the snow. I'll feel better later, he said. Can, I just can't go to school. And why is that, Mother? No, first said finally, I didn't do my homework. Oh dear, mother said, you should have done it when you got home from school on Friday. Gilbert whined. But I had to decorate the cookies on Friday, and I had to go ice skating on Saturday, and yesterday we had to get a tree, and Lola took forever picking one out. I didn't have time to do my homework. Mother said, you still have to go to school, Gilbert. You... You, and you'll have to tell Mrs. Bird that you didn't do your homework. She made warm oatmeal with extra honey, but Gilbert didn't eat it. He was upset because he couldn't stay home.
Finally, he put on his coat and boots and slowly walked to school. Patty met him on the playground. What's wrong, Gilbert? She said when she saw his face. Gilbert said, you shouldn't have have asked me to go skating Saturday. I didn't have time to do my homework. I didn't mind, Patty said. Suddenly, a snowball flew pa right past Gilbert's ear. Snowball fly, Lewis said as he caught up to them. Quit it, Gilbert snapped. I'm not playing. Gilbert didn't do his, ho do his homework, Patty explained. We had homework, Lewis said. Lewis always forgot to do his homework. And now Gilbert was just as bad as Lewis. We're supposed to draw a character like the snowman in Mrs. Bear's book, Patty said. I need a picture of Curious George. See? She held up the picture and ran inside to show Mrs. Bear. I'd rather make a real snowman, Lewis said. It's more fun than drawing one. He scooped up a handful of snow and packed it into a big ball, singing, Jingle bells, homework smells, teacher is a meanie. Gilbert didn't want to go inside either, but he began rolling his own snowball. That gave him an idea, but we needed Lewis' help to make it work. Gilbert and Lewis ran into the classroom at, at last on the last bell, they had just sat down when Mrs. Bird asked everyone to talk about the characters they had made. Gilbert stayed to his seat, hoping Mrs. Bird wouldn't call on um, him. He wasn't sure if his idea would work after all. Frank raised his hand and showed a drawing of the cat in the hat. Patty showed everyone her curious George. Everyone had drawn a character except for Gilbert and Lewis. Oh my, Mrs. Bird said. I'm surprised at you, Gilbert. She didn't say she didn't say I'm surprised at you, Lewis. Wait, Lewis said. We did make a character. See, he pointed out the window. Everyone turned to look. A snowman was looking back at them, and a snowman with red hats and mittens. Gilbert and I made a character from the book you read us. But we made a real one instead of drawing. It sounded he sounded proud that he had actually done his homework for once, even it, if it was Gilbert's idea. Mrs. Bird looked at Gilbert, slouching in the seat. Hmm, she s said. Hmm, since you took two of you to do the assignment, I'll give each of you a happy face for today. Gilbert had gotten half a, a happy face before he was disappointed. Lewis had never gotten half a happy face before, and he was happy. When Mrs. Bird asked that you could get another half if you did the assignment over for tomorrow, when Gilbert got home and he didn't go skating or play in the snow or watch TV. Instead, he drew his favorite character. The Night Before Christmas. Good work. Red Racer, Gilbert. The next day, there was a happy face on Gilbert's homework. And a smile on Gilbert, too. Hope you like Jingle Bells, Homework Smells.